morning, good morning. It is day 304 of from here to Jerusalem. Uh, yeah, another day, more sunshine. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. Walking from West Cork to Jerusalem with a harp on your back. Today, again, no harp, no Jerry the Stick, just myself and Marcel. Um, yesterday, <laughs> all our well-constructed plans went into the Nishava. Um, we walked out um, Easter, easterly. We had a bit of a misunderstanding about who wanted what and why. And um, we had a lovely walk along the Nishava. And then a few kilometers in, we, did, uh, we took a bridge and went back on the other side. And Marcel had found this little place um, on the Nishava with a terrace. And then we had beer. And it was early in the afternoon, and that was the end of the walking. <laughs> so we didn't do much walking after that. Uh, we went back into town, um, walked around for a little bit, tried to get ice cream, which didn't work, but we did have cake. Um, and yeah, because of the beer, like my legs were not gonna go anywhere anymore. And my entire rant about, you know, oh, it's okay, I don't have to do the actual kilometers, it went out of the window again. Like, my brain is going up and down and up and down. Um, that's okay, that's okay, as long as I know what I do in the end. Like, I know how to make up my mind, and when I do, I will do what is right. So, uh, I think the, the consensus, like, we had a long, big chat about what is actually... Uh, really getting in my way and there's two things my own mind is getting in my way from time to time uh, because you know uh, my mind is very active uh, and it can be a really good thing it it does mean that I, when I do make up my mind I make up my mind you know it's not like a, I like taking advice or I like uh, listening to other people's opinions about what I do and how I should do it I honestly I don't care, um, it kind of really makes me mad sometimes and it makes me really sad because I've, it makes me feel like uh, people think that I'm flaky and that I don't know how to do what I do and I'm really good at what I do. Um, no, I don't, I, I don't ask for advice because I don't need it uh, and if I do need it, I will ask. So that is, that's one part. Uh, I have that stubbornness and, and, and that anger inside of me still from time to time. And the other thing is the bag. The bag, it's been too heavy. Um, people who do not carry an awful lot of weight. I know that a lot of Camino walkers will understand, you know, that when they've reached the limit of what they can carry, you will know, you will know. And I carry double most of the time. So at the moment, the bag is around 23 kilos, which is definitely three kilos over what I'm capable of walking with. And I've been doing it since November. So that is uh, four months. And I know the weather can still be unpredictable. But what I have learned here in Europe is that there's always help, there's always people uh, and really where they, even where they say, oh, there is, the distances are too long, there's always still people there. Uh, and I'm kind of good with people. So we've made a list of things that we might be able to get rid of and uh, hopefully the bag will be lighter, which means that I have a little bit less weight weighing on my mind. Because it is like, it's one thing, the carrying, once the pack is on my back, I can do the walking. I can do the walking. That's not the issue. Uh, but it is what it does afterwards, how tired I, I, I am. And uh, it, it just wears me down. It's wearing me down to an extent that that overactive mind of mine cannot think straight. And that makes me, I'm already a little bit emotionally up and down at the moment. It makes it worse. So it makes it hard for me to rest. It makes it hard for me to make decisions. It really has complicated my life to an extent that I, I don't think I can go on the way it is. So we're going to try lighten, lighten the load, lighten the load. And uh, yeah, tomorrow is the last day that Marcel is here. So we're going to go try and just relax because even with him here, the other day we walked 30 kilometers and it was a lovely, lovely day, but 
we were talking about this yesterday, where did the rest come in? Like we were supposed to rest. So we're trying to do a bit more resting, not as much, um, uh, just eat, enjoy, uh, enjoy the sunshine. It is just balmy weather. It is about 17 degrees again. Um, and the weather between here and Sofia for the next 10 days uh, is also good. There is no freezing temperatures, so I should be okay, which means I can lighten my load. Ah, and then yesterday, um, like I'd been telling Marcel about uh, about Serbia and about you know the uh, we had both actually lots of questions about history, so we did a bit of reading yesterday and and this morning. Uh, this idea of the uh, the Serbians being discriminated against, which of course where we are from, like the 1990s war. Uh, the narrative is very much the other way around, uh, that the Serbians discriminate against the Croats and the, and, uh, and the Bosnians. And of course, during that war, I mean, horrific things happened without a doubt, you know. Um, here we kept hearing like how much people disliked, uh, disliked the Americans and the English. And we're trying to, you know, make sense out of this. And then... Uh, Marcel showed me something in an article, like, I didn't know, but like, in 1999, um, under under the Clintons, uh, they dropped cluster bombs on, on Nish, like, you know, so, apart from the, uh, they, they used uh, bombs that had depleted uranium in them, and cluster bombs. I read up a little bit about cluster bombs and what it does, and, you know, one of the things that we noticed is that, that some people here are really quite there's a there's an air of sadness and an air of like like th there is a lack of happiness in some of the people here and uh, yeah the psychological effects side effects are like horrific if in 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 civilian population it's very very hard to understand this for for people like me um, but but it is there. And then yesterday evening we were talking to this man, and he had just come over. He lives in Germany. He is originally from Serbia, uh, and he is here to bury his father. And again, like, and I've heard stories of this that during the pandemic more people died of cancer here than of uh, the pandemic. And this is like a direct like there is that side effect of the depleted uranium is children with cancer and uh, like an enormous amount like an increase of cancer patients especially brain cancer and skin cancer that is really really common here uh, i don't know the ins and outs of it but like i have been seeing all the death notices uh of uh on on the on the polls and stuff like, yeah we all bury people and i've said this before you know there's cancer everywhere and uh, in my family 99.9% .9 of my father's side but this is not in the whole population and here the incidences have definitely in increased substantially uh, but like this man said you know as long as it's not a Western European person who says this nobody really wants to listen and the, the, the uh, that they feel that they're seen really as the the bullies and the bad guys in uh, in a historical context, so I read up a little bit as well on uh, on discrimination against Serbian people. All I can say is like, oh my God, like read read a few things because it's 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 quite jarring. And I honestly don't know what is true anymore, but I do think you know that uh, Serbia deserves better than what it's getting. Like. The people are not the people that I've met. Are, it doesn't reflect the stories that I heard before I came here. Anyway, so that is what that was the story of yesterday. It was a beer too early in the day, uh, not enough walking, not enough resting. We went for um, for Italian for a change because we we had our fill of cafanas and ostias. Uh, I didn't even tell you that three days ago was it three days ago? We tried this ostia. It was awful. It was. Awful. Oh no, I did tell you. It was awful, but just thinking about it like makes me makes me kind of go like ah. 
Um, so today we are going to see the Holy Trinity, the cathedral here. Uh, it's the second largest dome, I think, in Serbia, after the St. Safa, which of course I went to see in uh, Beograd. Uh, yeah, Nishafa, beautiful river. There we have the fort, of course, on the other side, the walls of the fort. That's it for now. Uh, let's go try this again. Like I know yesterday, there there wasn't there there wasn't much. Like there just wasn't much. But I think uh, we were both so tired and a little bit grumpy by the end of all of it uh, that there just there wasn't any time to to uh, shoot more footage and make more photographs. And also, you know, rest is rest is rest. It does need to be done. Okay. Oh, are you spitting at things? Marcel starts to spit at things. I don't know. I think he might, I might, we might have to move him on now. <laughs> okay, we'll see you later. Thank you. 